welcome to my channel my name is Anya and in today's video I will be reviewing my January shop my stash which is this drawer and introducing the stuff I want to play with for February my January drawer was very small there was 36 items in here I have used all but six of them and I'm really happy with that the six that weren't used are gonna roll out next month and there is also a handful of stuff that was used that was gonna roll over and February's month it's kind of full but I'm going to start with some of the stuff that I'm going to put back and I'm just gonna leave the stuff that I'm keeping. I'm putting back this Makeup Mecca Butter Glaze. I have the shade Sprinkle. I've used it. I like it. I have these two lipsticks. So this is from Colourpop and the Sophia and I Got collection. I have Bikini Bottom and Mrs. Norris. I've used both of them. I really like them. I like the formulation. I've been mixing them and had some fun with that. This is the NYX Off My Lip Cream in London. It's a mini. I love it. I like the shade a lot. It's a very yellow toned light brown. It paired really well with the eyeshadow palette which was what I had hoped. But I'm going to put that back for now. I'm also putting back both of the eyeliners I have. So I have the Linda Hulberg Mood Crayon in Calm, which is the green, and the Colourpop Crumb Liner in Teaspoon. I really enjoyed using both of them. They also did work really well for what I hoped they would do. Everything else in this little basket is going to stay. So then my brow pencil and brow gel, two lip liners and mascara. The eyeshadow palette is a palette of 12 singles that I picked. And I focused on the sort of grungy olive green tones. They are not something that I reach for very often. I've really enjoyed using them this month and I'm definitely going to continue playing with these tones. I really also enjoyed pairing Sandblast with the look. I'm going to post the link to the picture that I put up on Instagram in the description box but I really love it. It's one of my favourite looks that I've created all month. Out of all of these this eyeshadow up top here which I use for my eyebrows is going to stay and it's going to go into next month's palette. The other ones though are going to go back and that was really everything that I was changing out. The How I Do palette I didn't use, the Makeup Mecca powder foundation I did use, the Makeup Mecca powder I didn't, the bronzer I did. I did not use the blush, um, the primer water I did, I'm gonna keep it, I like it. The Makeup Mecca setting spray I also used but I want to finish it so I'm gonna keep it in here. I didn't use the liquid foundation but I know I like it so I want to continue having it. I used the Tarte Shape Tape, I used my green colour corrector, I used both primers and I used Becca cor corrector. The number seven one I was hoping to finish. I have literally one use left. It's a little bit upsetting to me, but I made progress. As for the samples and stuff, I uh, used one almost entirely of the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. I used the shade Fairly Light Neutral. It was too dark for me. I'm going to mix it. I have the tiniest bit left. I used this yesterday and I'm going to use that today if I feel like putting makeup on. Other three I'm going to keep and I'm going to use them. I'm going to have to heavily mix them though because this was too dark for me and the colours I have left are light, medium, medium and tan deep. They are definitely going to be too dark but I'm going to use them up. So now to introduce things. I have a lot of stuff in front of me. I'm going to just introduce them not really in any particular order. The main product I wanted to play with this month was the At Forest Sight palette which was a collaboration with Raw Beauty Christie and Colourpop. I got this in the mail a couple of weeks ago now and I really wanted to try it. I really like the colour story so this was like the first thing I picked for this month but I wanted to have a couple of things to go along with it. So I have a lot of eyeshadows this month. I picked the Linda Halberg Spectral palette. I think it's gonna work well. We're gonna see. Not actually 100% sure though so it's gonna be a little bit of figuring things out as we go. I also picked the Makeup Mecca Back to Basics Chilled Tone which is a cool tone palette. I don't reach for cool tone eyeshadows that frequently but I wanted to have this as like my neutral pick if I wanted to go for something more neutral. I also picked my single so I have 12 here. Um, this is a repeat from last month but all of the other ones are new. I'm going to leave the names of them and also everything else in the drawer in the description box going from top left, following that, going into the second row and then finishing with the bottom right shade. This on its own doesn't look very cohesive but I picked some shades that I think are going to work with the palettes that I've chosen. I have picked three blushes. I have two from H&M. I have the Pure Radiance one in tawny peach which is a very brown peach colour and then I also have the shade called coral which is more of a straight coral I really like them I also picked my Milani baked blush in Dolce pink which is a favourite of mine but last time I used it it was a little bit subpar so I don't know if this is just getting very old it is over five years old at this point but it's sort of a little bit on the chopping block I'm gonna play around with it this month to see because if this has changed I will have to get rid of that, which sucks because I do really like it. I picked two highlighters in addition to the How We Do palette. Both are from Colourpop. 
I have Ruffle My Feathers, which is a light yellow, but it reads like a light gold on me. And then Silver Play, which is a straight up white highlighter. I wanted to play with them. I picked two Super Shocks. So I have DGAF, which is like a reddish brown to a green duochrome. And then Chromoscope, which is a shimmery plum. I have a bunch of small lip products, which is why I put this lipstick holder in here. I have three soft matte lip creams. I have the shade Dallas, which is like a burnt orange. Miami, which is more of like a purpley plum. And then Stockholm, which is a slightly pinky nude. I have five bite lipsticks. Honeycomb is a light nude. Date is more of like a neutral rosy shade. And Tannin is a very deep ready berry. Rhubarb is a little bit more mauvey. And then Cayenne is a really nice pretty warm red. I also have a mini NYX Butter Gloss in Glazy Days. I have a mini Chubby Stick Intense. This is in the shade Mightiest Maraschino. Maraschino. I don't know the name of that. I want to play with it. And I have the Colourpop Libby Stick in Taurus which is a, it's a sort of yellowy brown. I really like it. I have my Fenty Pro Filter face primer here. I am going to finish this very soon. I envision that happening in the first week and I want to have something that does the same thing, which is the Fenty one. I'm also putting in my NYX Pro Foundation Mixer in white. I showed the uh, Tarte Maracuja concealer samples that I have. They're all going to be too dark. I want to have this here to mix for that reason. I have two glittery eye toppers so Stila glitter and glow highlighter in painted lady it's a greeny pink color with a brown base i don't actually know how to describe it and then i have the new star one from makeup mecca eye top coat it's a copper i then have a bunch of pencils so i have a couple of lip liners i have the makeup mecca number nine here and this was one i hoped to finish in december didn't it's a red i have maybe two uses left so i'm gonna try and finish that i also have the shade number 10 which i want to start working on i have the berry m lip liner in crush which is a plum color and then i have if i can find it a clear lip liner for any of my other lippies. These are eyeliners. I want to play mainly with the colour palette in At Forest Sight, which is dual tones, warm tones, grungy tones, things you could find in a forest. And I really like it. So I've picked out a bunch of different eyeliners here. I have Mr. Bing from Colourpop, which is a warm brown. I also have Punch from Colourpop, which is a bright yellow. I have the Makeup Mecca Waterproof Smooth in Crisp White, which is a white. I have the number seven Stay Perfect in black. I have the Linda Hardberg Cool Mood Crayon, which is the blue and likable, which is an orange. And then I have two Makeup Mecca ones. I have a blue shade, which I think is called Blue Blood, and then a green, which is, I think, Thrill Pill, but I'm not sure. But that is my drawer. It's very full. I don't fully really know how I'm going to organise it, so I'm just going to leave it as this for now, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are doing a Shop My Stash yourself, tell me what you've picked for February or in your most recent one. If you've tried any of the products in the drawer, let me know what you think of them in the comments below. And if you want to see a look with anything specific, let me know. I am looking forward to playing with the eyeshadows this month. And I think I'm going to be able to, maybe not, if I, if I can't use everything, I'm going to be able to use at least half of what's in here. And I'm looking forward to it. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye!